This is Scorpio Chronicles and you are watching Double O Scorpio. What's up? It is Scorpio Chronicles and I thank you for joining me with my new show. Double O Scorpio. Yes, I have a new show. Some of y'all probably saying, Scorpio, how many shows are you going to have? As many as I need to. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as many as I need to until I get to the place where I am doing what I need to do, okay? Or the place where I'm making the funds that I need to fund. Let's just be honest. We're here to, you know make that collateral but anywho the purpose of this show is to actually give out some information and give out and kind of educate you on, on a little bit i know that since the pandemic <clears throat> or even prior to the pandemic a lot of us have been you know trying to find our comics and um our grills our keys our slabs and things like that by going from comic book um, store to comic book store please continue to support your local comic book shop do not let this stop you. Just let this be another part, just in case if they don't have what you're looking for. Let this be another option, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm going to actually teach you is how to find these different things on different little websites or apps. For example, like Etsy, Macari, eBay, even online auctions and estate sales that are online. Also, if, when I do get the opportunity and I do go out to actually go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and I find comics, I'm actually going to do a little bit of recording there and show you what I find. You'll be shocked how you can find some key comics and grails for the lowest prices because some people don't actually know exactly what they are um, pricing or either they didn't do their research and they just look at it. Or it's just a comic book, but look, they know that comic book could sometimes probably pay your child's way through college or through someone I know their one comic book paid for their divorce. Yeah. But anywho, <laughs> that is that is what you're gonna be taught. So the first thing for this first show is what is what I'm gonna show you is how I went and purchased something off Etsy. It's a mystery box. And I don't know what I'm getting. They did show some keys and grails. So we're going to see exactly what we get. I did order two of them. <clears throat> just to see if I can get some slabs out of it. Or stuff like that. So without further ado. Let's go ahead and watch. And learn how you order off Etsy. Alright. So I'm actually going to show you how I ordered it. Off of Etsy. I had looked this up earlier. And as you can see on Etsy, there are different types of comic book shops and, you know, things that you can purchase. All I do is type in the word comics or comic or comic and these things come up. You have vintage comics and all like that. And there was actually one that I had actually liked earlier because it had some stuff that I wanted. Plus, it was $25, but these are all different things. Of course, they're going to show the good place to get you to buy it. But you never know what you're getting when you're taking a chance on a mystery box. So I'm just opening it up. This is the one that I got, which is Crosshatch Comics. Um, they do have some good pictures and good things. Um, it was taken over by someone. Um, so always read the reviews, too. You know, I always read reviews before I purchase and analyze and see if this is someone that I do want to purchase from. From far as I'm, I've seen, this person had nothing but pretty much five stars. Nothing but good things said about them. Um, I know it says at the top that it said one star or the four star. I actually scrolled through and I didn't see many, didn't see hardly any negative reviews on this, um, on Crosshatch Comics. So this is kind of what also made me go ahead and purchase. Make sure you always read the reviews on um, things like this, you know, just to see. And of course, everyone was saying stuff like, you know, like everything was great. They had some, they even took pictures of what they received and things like that. 
so yeah they, they do have a five star rating so pretty much so what I did was um I did purchase at least two mystery boxes I had no idea of what I was going to get but um yeah as you can see right there only one was 2970 you know it's gonna be some tax in there but um, I did purchase like two. This is also another one that um, I'm sorry. This is another one that I had looked at before I purchased the other one. It's not the first one. This is another one that I may purchase from to see what I would get from there. Also, it's called Guerrera Comics. But this is another one that I was interested in. So they did have um, some decent reviews also. So I'm pretty much just um, showing you how there are other options that you can find your grails, your keys, some number one, some first appearances, just by kindly searching and looking and asking questions. Now I'm back at the Crosscatch Comics and this is where I actually messaged them and I asked them, you know, do they have like any social media? Um, information so I can post it on my video and I can also post it on Instagram and connect with them also so I had let them know that I had just purchased um, some items from them and I wanted their social media information and what they they don't know that I'm doing a, um, a YouTube channel I didn't mention that part but I just wanted to um, get their information so I can get you all connected to them also and you can pretty much you know purchase from them and see what you get you never know what you may get in some of these mystery boxes some people if you keep purchasing from them they'll if they'll start giving you some really good stuff in the, in the boxes just to show their appreciation so um, this was actually um, my first time ordering off Etsy and I think that I did pretty good. You, you're gonna see this in the further video. Don't you wish the package came this quickly too? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna open this package up. It is a four pounder. It did come all the way from Omaha, Nebraska. <clears throat> it is a little heavy. I don't think there's slabs in here just by the weight of the box or I could be wrong. I don't know, but I don't think it's any slabs in there. Yeah. But we're going to open it up and I'm going to show you what's inside. So bear with me for just one second. All right. So I, op all right, so I opened it up. And um, he, they do mention that they do a lot of um, everything that they use is recyclable. Re recyclable, sorry. And so that's why the purpose of the upcycle thing on there. So they do use a lot of stuff that... They do recycle bags and things like that to pack it. So I'm actually going to open this and see what I got in here. One second. All right. So I got like a little bonus bag in here. And it says on there, bonus bag reader. Um, I'm assuming that's his name. And it says, hello, thank you for your order. I appreciate it so much. And it looked like I got some some kind of cards in there. There's a Patrick Ewing. Like, there's a Star Trek in there. Let me open this up really quickly and see what we have in here. Let me see here. What do we have? All right. So, we have Web of the Spider-Man. Number 87. Okay. Part 4 of 6. Right. Not too bad. Not too bad. And let me see these cards. So the bag picked back up. There we go. Come out. <laughs> Trying to do this with one hand is not easy. But anyhow. All right, that's not like an actual card. It's some type of little um, collect all. Oh, it's a sticker. Okay. I've never seen these before. Paul Pressy. I'm not a sports person, so if I sound strange pronouncing these things, it's because I'm not a person that's into sports. 
I'm really not, sorry. And look, we got a little card, a Star Trek card. Cool, cool. And there's the Patrick Ewing. Oh, this is a sticker also. Okay. I didn't know they made stickers like that. DeAndre Jordan. Okay. And this is Marcel Jones. Okay. So he kind of threw in some extra stuff in there for my order because I did order um, two of them so let's actually see what comics I actually got see if I got any keys any grails or anything like that so that was the first one okay we got a Xena warrior princess okay and then we got silver sable and wild pack Guest starring The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, pretty neat. Right, let's see, we got... Siege, Deathlock. Okay. Some of these I've never heard of. You all probably have, but I haven't. Ah, The Punisher, 2099, number one. Ooh. I didn't mean to collect these. Oh, all right. Okay, getting some, getting there. Who is this? Oh, Web of Spider-Man number ninety-four. Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, Hag and Troll, and a cameo appearance by Venom. Oh, very nice. What's this? Tales of Darkness. That's a top cow. Okay. No. Yeah. No, and we have here Supreme. Love the cover though. Image Comics Supreme number one. Ooh, I see a Catwoman. Night Quest: The Search. Catwoman. You gotta love a good Catwoman. The old. Um, that is the old outfit. That is. I love that outfit on her. Love it, love it, love it. There was one comic book where they actually went back to her old outfit. I love that. Ooh, Aquaman, first issue. Blockbuster. Blockbuster guest starring Flash. Ooh. Time and Tide, Aquaman. Okay, number one. Oh, we have a Reign of the, of the Superman. Oh, Green Lantern. I think I collect these, if I'm not mistaken. Green Lantern on this one. Pretty decent so far. Pretty decent so far. Let's see what else we got in here. Alright. So they did pack it very well, by the way. Very nicely. One second. Alright, so we have first one. Ooh, the Punisher. Warzone. I do collect the Punisher. Yeah, this is a nice one. And we got also Ghost Rider and Blaze, Spirit of Vengeance. Never heard of this one. And I do collect Ghost Rider. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, don't fall. Oh, more Ghost Rider. Doctor Strange bring, can Doctor Strange bring Danny back without killing him? Ooh. Oh, I've been meaning to collect this one to go with my collection. This is okay. Yes, Ghost Rider 32. So I got some, got some pretty decent books in here. Who is this? Daredevil Fall from Grace Chapter Two. That's nice. Nice little cover. I really like the the cover has like a like a grail kind of feel a little bit. Like the bricks on the wall, whatever that is. Yeah, like that. Let's see here. Doctor Strange, 50. Ghost Rider, Hulk, Silver Age. Silver, Silver Age, excuse me, Silver Surfer. Oh, those, those are guest starring in this book. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, like what I see so far. Oh, we got some Ninja Turtles, the future... 
Shark Trilogy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Look like we got some Pit. I have never read Pit. This is issue number one of Pit. Oh, yeah. I have been seeing these around all over social media, but I have not got a chance to read them or get one and read it, but now I am. And we have, what is this? Deathstroke Katana Huntress. Ooh. Showcase 93. Beautiful cover, though. Okay, I'm going to look into that a little bit more. See, Batman. The Batman Chronicles. The Man's Land. Spiritual Currency. There are so many versions of Batman till like I don't know where to start sometimes but yeah and look like the last one is another Batman Batman Shadow of the Bat the last archive okay I am not mad at this at all so yeah I really like this all right so all right so we've seen the box and I gotta be honest I'm not mad at the box Honestly, there is still some good potential in these boxes. Um, there are a few number ones. Um, there's some things in here that I have not collected. Plus, he threw in some bonus stuff. And I just realized the letter that I was reading, the thank you, he actually hand drew that. <laughs> the gentleman's name is John, and the name of it is Crosshatch Comics. It is on Etsy. He also does have a Twitter, TikTok, and an Instagram. I'm going to post all that information in the description below also so make sure you you all hit him up a little bit you know i'm gonna and and, and get you a couple of, of mystery boxes and will i return back to crosshatch comics yes i will i will be purchasing more from them pretty soon um i can't i i got some good stuff i got some number ones and with comics you never know what may be the next hit you never know. It's always things that you least expected or which comic may just be like, oh, crap, that comic is the one that actually, you know, does it for me. So, sorry about that. My mom had called my phone. Yes, I'm recording on my phone. But, yes, I did get some number ones in here, and um, I can't complain. I also got some bonus stuff that I can probably do some things with. I'm not a sports person. But, yeah, it is some pretty cool stuff in here. But, yeah, it was a nice four-pounder box. I can't complain. Um, hopefully, next time I'll get some slabs. You know, he does have some slabs and other things. Um, it is someone that did take over a company that was on Etsy, but I think it's going to do well. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Um, there will be more to come. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos showing you how to look for things on estate sales online for comics. You can find some really good stuff online, like some first appearances online for online estate auctions. You'll be shocked what you'll find on there. Until then, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining my new show. Have a wonderful day.